Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here and today I want to talk about the Nintendo Switch, but more specifically a couple of rumours that have been going around about potential new Switch models, plural, that may well be shown, revealed and potentially even released as early as this year. Admittedly, yes, it is a rumour, take it with a pinch of salt, but it's interesting so I thought we'd talk about it in today's videos. If you do enjoy this then a like would be super appreciated, comment down below if you have any questions and of course, kind of related, if you haven't entered our giveaway for a chance to win a Nintendo Switch, a limited edition Pokemon Let's Go one, link to that is in the description box down below. Now if you know me, you'll know that I absolutely love my Nintendo Switch, it is probably my favourite console of all time. I take this thing with me everywhere I go. Also, by the way, you've seen these uh, sweet Joy-Cons, kind of custom ones, completely unrelated, but uh, I really like them. Anyway, point being, I love my Nintendo Switch, goes with me everywhere, I play, if ever I have a chance, I play whatever games I can on it, because I just like being able to take it with me uh, whenever I travel, things like that, so it's a great system, I absolutely love it, has some great games on it, I don't really need to say much more. But more specifically, there's a rumour, I woke up this morning and there was an article on the Wall Street Journal and they have admittedly in the past reported on console rumours and generally speaking they've turned out to be correct. Irrespective of that, it is still worth calling out that these are rumours so please do take them with a pinch of salt, but the topic is rather interesting. It was said in the article that Nintendo may well be releasing two new Switch models, they may be announcing them this year and they may also be releasing them this year. Don't forget that the Nintendo Switch of course launched back in 2017 so we are entering the third year of the console, typically you know console cycles somewhere in the kind of six to ten year span and it's not unheard of for developers and publishers to refresh their console mid console cycle. So what they've been saying and the kind of rumours that are going around is there'll be two new systems, there'll be a premium system or kind of like a slightly more powerful system targeted more at like core gamers. It'll supposedly have enhanced features, they haven't said exactly what yet and we'll speak more about that in a minute and of course it'll have a slightly higher price point and there'll also be a cheaper version typically kind of catered more towards a slightly more casual audience and it's designed to fill the void of say the 3DS which they are of course phasing out now and that would of course have slightly you know lesser functionality but it would also come in at a cheaper price point. Now they're saying this could well be revealed at E3 which would be awesome because I mean already E3 is kind of shaping up to be pretty exciting for Nintendo, they've always kind of done a big thing at E3, they don't have their press conferences anymore, they have their kind of treehouse stuff but they do have like a big song and dance when it comes to their booth and you know this year knowing that we've got the likes of Fire Emblem, Pokemon, the uh, new Zelda game or kind of the remake and whatnot, uh, potentially also Animal Crossing, uh, you know, that, I mean that's a that's a lot of games on top of obviously whatever else they'll have and to throw in potentially two new consoles into the mix, that could be really cool. But to speak slightly more about them, on the enhanced one they haven't said or the kind of rumour didn't comment on exactly what it would be, but if you kind of look at the system right now they did of course comment that it still wouldn't be as powerful as say the PS4 or the Xbox One, but a couple of things you could do, I mean like if you look at the model itself like right now, there is a pretty uh, pretty substantial border around the screen so one kind of nice fix, one kind of easy fix would be to maybe you know give it a slightly wider screen, maybe push it up so you get to the point where you've got 1080p on a handheld because right now anytime you play in handheld you go from 1080p when it's docked typically down to around 720p so maybe they could get like a you know a different screen on there that could be really interesting. I think it's worth calling out that whatever they do is going to be largely or probably going to be largely similar on form factor because Joy-Cons themselves are of course the core controller outside of the Pro Controller for the Nintendo Switch and if they drastically changed the size of the console and had to change the Joy-Cons with that, that would essentially force everyone to rebuy a load of controllers and as much as controllers mean money, I don't think Nintendo are going to do that so I would imagine I'd be willing to bet all the rupees that I have across all my Zelda games that form wise it's probably going to be largely similar. Maybe it could be a little bit wider, maybe it could be a little bit slimmer, but I think in terms of making it fit within the pre-existing ecosystem then you're probably looking at something you know slightly similar. One of the things I also kind of hoped that they would do would be you know maybe they could release like a slightly more powerful dock whereby you know when you sit the console in and you're docked you can maybe play the game like at a higher resolution and maybe it gives you like slightly more power to play with so that way for developers that kind of want to you know develop for like additional functionality when you are docked maybe that could be an option I don't really know whether that would work too well because of course you do still need to factor in handheld but that's kind of a you know a potential idea and of course on top of that you could also just work towards you know longer battery life making it so that you know you can uh, play for more extended sessions. Outside of that not entirely sure what they would do just yet other than of course updating the the chipset based on what's currently available but 
that's basically what they're working on right now. They're working on like a more powerful version, supposedly, that would kind of fill that top end slot. And the lower end one, all they've said right now is that they would probably take a little bit of functionality out. They feel like they would probably take out the rumble functionality because if you were using that, then you know maybe you wouldn't necessarily need that if you're using it purely as a handheld device. They've also said that you know there were a few rumors that went around a while ago that maybe they'd even make a device where you don't detach the Joy Cons and it kind of fills that almost like 2DS void where like you know you just have it as like a, a purely portable device. Maybe for that they could make the screen slightly smaller, they could make the device slightly smaller. So if you do just want to use it on the go then maybe that would be an option for you. Now, outside of that, there's really not much else to share right now. And again, it is purely rumor. So until Nintendo give us any kind of official word, then this is still pie in the sky. But it does seem like the sort of thing that they would do. We've seen this with multiple of their consoles in the past. They've done refreshes mid-cycle. We've seen multiple 3DSs, the DSs, and you know, it's, it's the thing they've done. So it's not a crazy thought. It's not something outside the realms of possibility. So that's definitely something that I would look forward to seeing later on. So let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think? What would you like to see in a more powerful version of the Switch? What would you like to see in the lesser powerful version of the Switch? What functionality for you personally is the system missing right now that you would like to see addressed? Anyway, that's it for the time being. Of course, be sure to keep it locked because we'll have plenty more updates as and when we find out more over the coming months and years. Thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out some more awesome stuff from us here at Arix Gaming, then you should definitely try to catch 269 and Paradise Central streaming six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. They play a wide range of games, and what's more, we also have the end game store. By watching their streams, you earn currency, and you can redeem that currency on the end game store for really cool prizes. Those can range from things like games, comics, and figures, all the way up to controllers, capture cards, and even consoles. So definitely drop by and become part of the community. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you're subscribed and be sure to click on that little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss our next upload. You can watch more videos by clicking on the options here. But once again, thanks very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.